I'd like to share with you a fantastically easy way to do protein denaturation experiments using Color Nature food colors. Now specifically, I've taken the sky blue dye packet out of a Color Nature food color box and I took some of the powder and dissolved it into this water here to make a solution. Now the sky blue food dye contains spirulina, which in turn contains the protein phycocyanin. Now phycocyanin has a blue color and that's why this solution has this beautiful blue color. And what's interesting about this is that when the protein is denatured, the blue color is lost. And this provides us with a really easy way to do protein denaturation experiments. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add a little bit of the protein solution to each of two test tubes. And to one of the two test tubes, I'm going to add some water. Now the reason for the addition of water is simply to show the effect of dilution on the color. Now we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to add alcohol, which is a protein denaturant. So here's the addition of isopropyl alcohol, a protein denaturant, to our solution of phycocyanin. And in this case, we see the color fade and almost disappear. So if we compare our two samples, our control sample and the sample to which the alcohol has been added, we see quite the difference. Here's another simple protein denaturation experiment you can do. We're just going to take a little bit of this solution of phycocyanin and we're going to heat it because we know that heating proteins tends to denature them. Let's see if we can't get this blue color to disappear by heating the solution. Let's compare the color of our heated solution to the original. The faded color is indicative of the fact that the protein has been denatured. 